beat Matt Bat Rap. Welcome back to turn three. So the Tyranids are now going. I'm going to move up my three lonely Hormigons and the Trigon to go and try to take care of his one flank. And then the Hive Tyrant and a large group of Hormigons to try to take care of his Stern Guard. And I need to bring them over because I believe I've got the other group of Space Marines taken care of with this Trigon and this group of Hormigons. I need to make sure I push them to the side so that I don't take too much time to get over to the rest of his guys. Because when you're in turn three, you're starting to run low on number of movements that you have. You only really have five to seven turns of movement, so every single movement does count. So the Trigon's moving and accidentally pushing trees and everything else. This Trigon's going to, f to open fire with his uh, bio-containment field. Unfortunately, it doesn't do very well, and only wounds three. But then there's two ones out of his three plus armor save, so he does actually lose two guys just to that shooting. This Hive Tyrant is now going to do a psychic attack, which he makes, but then the Psychic Hood, the white is mine and the red is his, and he manages to nullify my Psychic Power. So I just have him left to shoot the Twin Linked Devourers, and four of them hit, um, and he fails two of his saves, so I guess we skipped the, the wounding there. So two of his Stern Guard go down, but luckily they were not, or luckily for him, they were not taken down by the Psychic Attack. Now the Spine Fists are being shot by the Ripper Swarms, and um, they're all twin links, so you actually get a lot of hits from them, and then a lot of misses, and or a lot of non-wounding. So I only did three wounds, but and he made two of them and failed one. So one marine goes down to the spine fist, and then the trigon open fires, opens fire with his electric containment field thingy again, and only manages to wound two. And he rolls Snake Eyes and fails his 3+. plus. Even if he was Terminator, these guys would be dying because he keeps rolling 1s for his armor save, so that's not working too well for him. The Hormigons charge, but they're charging into cover, or they have to make a difficult terrain test is more important. And so their initiative will be dropped, and um, that'll allow the Marines to actually probably kill them before they can do any damage. These Hormigons, on the other hand, are charging full strength into this group of Stern Guard, along with this Hive Tyrant, who has Hive Commander, so he's granting preferred enemy to everybody around him. This Trigon will charge in, followed by all the Hormigons. So this group is hopelessly surrounded and outnumbered. But the Trigon's initiative four, so the Hormigons will go first, and then the Space Marines and Trigon will go at the same time, if that's any consolation for him. So we got all 20 um, Hormigons piling in. So these Space Marines first hack away at these Termigons and roll really bad, and only manage to kill two of them, which I don't make any saves on, so I lose two of them. I should have lost all three there, but the rolls weren't too good on his end. And then I fight back with my three attacks, and I manage to actually do a couple wounds, but then he saves both of them. There's his sixes now, so nobody dies, and I lose, so I'm fearless because the Trigon was nearby, and I didn't make both my saves, so he dies. So they actually managed to kill off that group. So we're starting off here. We've got his Vulcan guy, who unfortunately fails all of his rolls. He does get to re-roll one of them because it's Mastercrafted. And then rolls a 1 for the damage. Unfortunately, does not do any wounds. So my Hormigons will go next, because they're initiative 5. They get to re-roll because of the Hive Tyrant within 6 inches of them, so luckily, because all those, there's a lot of misses there. And now we have a lot of hits. And they all have poison attacks, they're wounding on 4s. And so we do quite a few wounds. I hand it over to him to do his 3 plus saves. And he rolls and fails four of them, it looks like. He yeah, has so four die from the Hormigon's attack, so it's actually not too bad, considering he could have easily lost more to that Hormigon onslaught. And then the Stern Guard, and, oh, then we have the Hive Tyrant firing, because he, he's doing it all in the independent character. He gets to reroll. He makes all five hits, and he makes four wounds, but he gets a three-plus and vulnerable save, and he fails all four of them. And he's only got two or three wounds, so unfortunately he's dead, which is a big deal, because he has a pretty good character, just didn't roll very well with him. And uh, we got some more attacks going on here, and he fails his leadership, and so they retreat, but I do not overrun him, which would have been good for me. If I overran him, then he would have been able to, I've been able to make them turn fearless, because of their NA shall know no fear of rule, and take some more wounds. So we got this attack right here. We got lots of attacks on the Hormigons, they did not charge through cover, so they have a higher initiative of 5. And uh, they get to reroll their ones because of their scything talents, and they get a lot of hits in there, mainly because there are a lot of attacks. So it's not looking too good for these space marines. Their poison attacks, which are four plus to wound, and if you do quite a few wounds, so I hand them all over to him to see how many rolls he'll do with his three plus save, 
And as you can see, he fails a few of them. And so he loses, I think it's five of his space marines. And so he decides, smartly, to pull them away from the Trigon, so the Trigon will not get to fight in this battle. And then he attacks back, manages to hit three times, but then only manages to wound twice. And I fail both. So I lose two, he loses five. So he's got to make a leadership test, which he makes, but which means he turns fearless, because they, they may shall know no fear, but he makes all of his armor saves. Now here's where he could have done a little better here. Because he used all his combi flamers in that earlier attack, he could have melted away all of the Hormagons here if he had more combi flamers. So he moves into position. These guys move up to engage the Trigon, because I figure why not charge him rather than him charging me. And they all open fire with their rapid fire and with their and with the plasma, and unfortunately only the plasma does a wound. So he's down right there. And this flamer attacks, imagine if he had two or three of those still alive. But he's only got one. Now it's still a lot of hits, and he's able to do re-rolls. And he's still done a lot of damage, but if he was able to do that a couple more times, then that would have wiped out that group quite well. And then he does his bolter fire, and kills a few more, because bolters are great for taking down gaunts. And he kills three more, I don't get saves, as I'm only six plus armor save. Then he has to do, um, I believe this is, oh, this was the psychic attack. And so he has to do three dice because uh, of the shadow and the warp from the hive tyrant. And unfortunately he failed at any roll the double six, so he got perils in the warp and took a wound. So now we're going back to the other attacks with all the hormigants. And, of course, they're doing tons of damage. There's only two Space Marines left, so this isn't looking too good for them. And I roll for damage, and I do lots there, and then he's got to make a lot of armor saves. So, obviously, this is where statistics are going to work against him. And he's lost at least two of them there. And so that group, of course, gets wiped out. So that side is lost. And those Hormagons have completely overrun those Space Marines. So we look at a quick overview of the turn can see that it's not looking too good for the Space Marines. They're still holding up on the one side, but they got a Trigon to deal with. The Tyranids are at three points. The Marines are at two right now. See, this group of Hormagons is really down low, but on this side we've got a Trigon and a healthy group of Hormagons and Ripper Swarms. As we enter turn four, we see that it's starting to look a little grim for the Space Marines. And Everybody's going to just start charging into the remaining Space Marines. There's only the group of Stern Guard, the one special character, and the other group of Space Marines ready. And so everybody's moving over. I move the Ripper Swarms and the Trigon and the Hormagons over just in case the Hive Tyrant was having a hard time, which seemed unlikely, but you never know. And it's only turn four, so I still have at least turn five in order to clean up anything. And so once everybody had moved over, it was time to open fire. So it's moving the Trigon over. And the Trigon over here opened fire with his bioelectric spines thingy, and he unfortunately didn't do much damage, and the two wounds that he did do were saved. And the Hive Tyrant did his uh, psychic ability and actually managed to do it, reducing the Blissed skill and weapon skill to one, which didn't really matter in the end, as he has a weapon skill of eight. And he fired all of his um, Twin Link Devourers and managed to do, I believe it was, one wound. So one of the Stern Guard that did go down. After that, there was just lots of charging. We had the Trigon coming into this group, hoping to wipe them out in this turn. And then, of course, on the other end, we have the Hormagons and the Hive Tyrant. The Hive Tyrant ran in first to basically avoid any any problems there with uh, basically line of sight as you charge in. So over here, the Trigon attacks. He gets to re-roll. They actually attack at the same time because they're all initiative four. And he did five wounds, of which, of course, they didn't really save any, and so... Those guys are going out. And they still get to attack back. I actually think we made a mistake there, and he might have not attacked back with the ones that died. But in the end, I don't know if that would have mattered too much, because I had to roll sixes to wound. And uh, unfortunately, he did not take any wounds. They failed their leadership and uh, became fearless again, because he overran them. And then they took extra wounds, and he made all of his saves, and then he consolidates towards the other mess. So that group of Space Marines got completely wiped out. So as you can see, this is really just wrapping up. The Tyranids are overwhelming the Space Marines on all corners. The Hive Tyrant is attacking with all his attacks, and does, looks like, four wounds, and you don't get saves against him, and his initiative is, is higher. And then we have all the Hormigants as well, getting all of their attacks, because their initiative is higher as well. 
And so they all go in, pile in, do lots of damage, and then the guy has to make all his saves, which he fails enough of them. So right here, I think is where we see him fail his saves, and he is dead. So the Tyranids have a victory. As we look at the board, you can see there's still uh, lots of groups left. They actually managed to get two kill points off. I think the main mistake here was focusing on the big guys. But 7-2 for Tyranids. So unfortunately, Ryan here is not going to get the $25 gift certificate. But as a consolation prize, we are going to give him $10 for his use on the online mini wargaming store. And just wanted to thank Ryan. Awesome game. Good game. Completely tabled by the Tyranids, so... But that's, that's fine, that's fine. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a tough one with all those Hormigons and the Ripper Swarms and the Trigons and the Hive Tyrant. But stay tuned for next week's episode of Beat Matt Bat Rep. I believe next week we're doing a game of War Machine, but I'll have to double check. You can always challenge me if you like on the forums at miniwargaming.com. Happy Wargaming. Visit miniwargaming.com to see our videos one month early.